Nat 31, we're back. We're going to now take a graphical approach to finding inverse functions or inverse function values. So we'll use the graph below, really over here, to find the following. So I wanna find g inverse of one, and then it says estimate g inverse of four. And I'll talk about why this says estimate and this one doesn't in just a bit. All right, so taking a look at this, I see g inverse. So we have to decide, is the number inside this parentheses representing an x value or a y value? Well, when it's attached to the inverse function, this is actually representing a y value. All right. And what g inverse of one is asking is, well, what was the ordered pair? What was the x value that went with it? Right? I, I wanna know what this x value is. So what x value gave me a y value of one? Well, let's go find out. So I'm gonna take my ruler, I'm gonna go up to y equaling one, or in this case, g of x equaling one. All right, here's the line y equals one. Let's see where y equals one intersects with my function. And I can see it, it hits right on that grid point of three comma one. So what x value gave me a y value of one? Well, it was an x value of three. So then g inverse of one, is equal to three. All right, and that's again, that's because of the ordered pair, three, one. I'll just put it off to the side here, because of three comma one. Now, again, just, just going with this, you could have also said g of three was equal to one, right? So you can write g of three is equal to one or g inverse of one is equal to three. They both represent the ordered pair, three comma one, and you can find that on the graph. All right, so part B says estimate G of four. Oh, excuse me, not G of four, that was wrong, G inverse of four. So again, because the inverse is here, this is representing a Y value, and I would like to know what was the X value that went with it. Well, let me take my line, my line, let me take my ruler up to Y equaling four, and let's see what we have. All right, so this is just intersecting right at the tippy top here. All right, now, if you'll look, it doesn't hit exactly on a grid mark, right? I, I, I intentionally did that. It's not a super nice number. If I try and see what X value that corresponded to, that looks to be about five and a half, right? So I think this ordered pair is about 5.5 comma four. But again, the reason I say estimate is because it's not hitting right on a grid part, grid point. This, this one hit right on that grid mark, it was great. This one, it's a little bit more, um, it's, it's, it's fishy, right? We're not exactly sure. So I'm going to estimate G inverse of four by saying I believe it is approximately 5.5. So because this didn't hit exactly on a grid point, I had to make a best guess. And if you had written something like 5.4, 5.3, 5.6, a bunch of answers would have been fine. Anything in between five and six would have been acceptable. Probably not 5.9, right? It's not all the way over here. 5.1 seems a little bit too low, but maybe anything between like 5.2 and 5.7, that seems like a range of answers that's totally acceptable to me. So I'm estimating it. If this was on an exam, we might not all guess 5.5. Somebody might guess 5.4, great. 5.6, great. It just depends on how big of this dot, this how large this dot was that you made and how well you drew this um, down to the x-axis. So it's dependent on a few things, which is why we're guessing, we're estimating. And when we estimate, we use a, a little squiggle sign instead of the equals, okay? And again, this was all because of that ordered pair 5.5 comma four. I could also, if I had wanted to, I could have said that G of 5.5 was approximately four. All right, so with any ordered pair, you have two ways of writing it. You can write your function, right? G of X equaling Y, or if the inverse exists, you can do G inverse of uh, y equaling x. And again, this was a one-to-one -one function. It passed the horizontal line test and it also passed the vertical line test. All right, so with that, we're gonna flip the page and we're gonna take a look at one more numerical example. I'll see you in a few, bye.